Are you thinking about moving to Beacon, New York, but you're not really sure what's going on with the real estate market in Beacon right now? I wanted to talk about the real estate market in Beacon from the perspective of what's going on with the inventory levels, because I'm working with a lot of buyers who are having a hard time finding a house to purchase in Beacon and also in the greater Hudson Valley. And why is that? It's just because there's not any inventory out there. So I want to show you some of the market trends right now that are going on that are really affecting the market in the in the Hudson Valley. So in the month of February, you can see from the statistics, which I'm getting from the uh, website NARRPR, which pulls data directly from the MLS in the area, which is called One Key MLS. And there used to be another one called Mid Hudson. They merged recently. So the market data is from the MLS directly, which records the new inventory, sold inventory, pending inventory. Um, it records the amount of transactions that happened. It records the sale prices of the homes, how long they're on the market, and what the average prices are or the median prices are. So in the just to give you a snapshot of what's going on in the month of February, um, which is just a couple of weeks ago, the inventory levels were 3.06, which basically means there's about three months worth of active inventory on the market for people to pick and choose from when moving here and buying a house. As you can see from the um, little triangle above the uh, bar, the bar up at the top of the page, it is a seller's market. Normally, um, anything below six. So if it was a balanced market, which would be right in the middle where the blue is lighter, then it would be six months. And if it's a buyer's market, it's anything over six months worth of inventory because the more inventory you have, the more months of inventory you have on the market, the more there is, uh, the more houses there are for people to choose from and put offers on. So when you want to buy a house, you really want it to be a buyer's market because it gives the buyer more buying power. Currently, and for the past a uh, couple of years, it's been a seller's market pretty much since COVID. It's been extremely competitive. There has not been enough inventory. There have been way too many buyers in the market. When During COVID, there were more buyers in the market because the interest rates were so low. Everybody was ready to buy. People were moving out of New York City up to the Hudson Valley, looking to get a little space and um, some room away from being condensed and stuck in home during COVID. So a lot of people moved up here because mortgage rates were, you know, around three, four, five percent, really low, depending upon obviously what you could qualify for. But since since the rates have gone up, you know, and they're trending above six, seven, but somewhere between six and eight, you know, depending upon when you're watching this video, it is creating a really tough market for all those people who bought or have bought in the past 10 or 15 years or have owned for a very long time. It's creating the kind of uh, environment where they don't want to sell because they don't want to have a high interest rate when they turn around and buy. So it's really created a seller's market from the opposite point of view than where it was when interest rates were a lot lower. So let me just get back to the chart here. So there's three 3.06 months of inventory. It's down 22.34% month over month. So compared to January, there's less inventory in February. The sale price to the list price is over 100%. It's 103.5%. So when I'm working with buyers and they're, they want to come in and they want to get a deal and they want to really negotiate, well, it's not really easy to negotiate when things are selling for more than what they're listed for. Um, so let's just say a $400,000 house, if you were to go 3.5% over, then you're looking at about you know, um, $12,000 $12, over the price. So you, you might have to come in at $412,000. And a lot of people who want to negotiate and get a good deal, this is not the right market for you to be purchasing homes. So if you're looking for a deal, in this market, you need to go probably outside of Beacon and look for homes that have been sitting on the market for a long time or homes that have been on the market 
take and then they had an offer they were off the market and then they came back on the market because a deal fell through somehow so those people those sellers might be more interested in negotiating if it's been on the market for a while or if it was it had an offer and then the offer fell through and then it had to go back on the market but if it's a brand new house brand new house and it looks really great you're probably not going to get a good deal on it you're probably going to be competing with everybody just like you who are watching the Zillow feed come out with brand new inventory every day, waiting to see for their see their dream home come onto the market, and they're ready to go see it, put an offer in. Boom! You're not going to get it unless you're competitive and you're willing to go over list price, at least three and a half percent. That's the average here, so you might even have to go more. You never know. Median estimated property value in Beacon is five hundred thirty-two thousand nine hundred seventy dollars. It is going up, so prices are are going up and home values are going up. So if you bought in the past couple of years, you're sitting pretty good with really nice equity being built in your house. You know, over the past 12 months, the equity that you built in your house, if you bought it in 2023 around this time, is about 12 and a half percent, which is pretty awesome. And you can see in the graph from June 08 all the way up to February or December 23, um, it has gone the <laughs> the average home price or the median home price has gone from you know, let's say $254,000 in Beacon up to um, $504,000. So it's pretty much doubled in the past uh, 16 years. Home prices are on the rise. New listings. So there really aren't a lot of listings, 62.5% less listings than there were in January. The median price per square foot is down. But, you know, I, I always tell people don't try to compare square you know houses by square feet around here because lots are different there's it's not a cookie cutter neighborhood you don't have a builder coming in and building a thousand houses that just have slightly different finishes and stuff like that houses are so different around here um and it's really hard to price things by square foot you have to really compare similar styles of homes that have closed recently to each other um, to really come up with the best competitive market analysis price for homes. But the median list price is about $514,000 in Beacon. So if you're looking to buy a house, expect to pay around that. The active listings, so there aren't that many. There's 20% fewer, but the ones that are on the market, the, act, the active listing median list price is $760. Four thousand five hundred dollars, and that's pretty. That's pretty high. I mean, this is a high. It's a pretty high, because there are lots of um, homes in that are new. New homes that are listed that haven't been built closer to eight hundred thousand dollars. You've got some homes around a million dollars. So you you're not finding a lot of houses listed back towards that uh, median list price. Um, so the median list price for solds for for new listings is five fourteen. Medium for active listings is six seventy. Four, five hundred, and then new pending listings. The median pending listings. The median price is five fifty four. So what I want to get at here in what I'm showing you is that basically there's not a lot of inventory. You can see that the sale price actually is going down a little bit. The number of properties month over month that are sold has gone up a little bit. The average list to sale price is one hundred and three point four seven percent. They're, the homes are in the MLS about 29 days on average before they go under contract. And the median square feet is 333. Even though it's not always a good comp, you should always compare houses to houses. So as you can see, since 2019, January 2019 to January 24, in the past five years, we've had a lot of a big decrease in the amount of available inventory. It usually does peak through the um, spring through the fall and it falls off in winter. You can pretty much see the, where the peaks and the valleys are pretty much are in spring. But again, I guess my, the, my point of making this video today is just to say that if you're looking to move to the Hudson Valley and you're thinking about moving to Beacon or pretty much anywhere, I could pull up any city or town or county in the area and you're gonna find a similar statistic that there's really only about 3.6 months of available inventory and um, it's really a seller's market. It's always a good time to buy because home prices go up historically. If you look at it historically, you can see in the past um, past uh, 16 years between June 08 through basically uh, now, you can see that home prices continue to rise, that you have dips here and there. Short term, things might take a little bit of a nosedive for a little bit, 
but the trajectory of home prices is always up in most areas in the country, definitely in Beacon, definitely in the Hudson Valley. So if you're thinking about making a purchase anytime soon, now or in nine months or nine years or 90 days, feel free to give me a call. I'm Carlin Felder with eXp Realty in Beacon and my contact information is listed below the video and feel free to reach out to me, email me, call me, text me. I'm available to talk about your home buying options whenever you're ready to start making a move to the Hudson Valley or to Beacon. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and share this information with anybody you know who might be thinking about making a move to the Hudson Valley. I work all over the Hudson Valley and I'm able to help uh, home buyers and home sellers anywhere within about an hour and a half radius. Thank you.